We got super rowdy on the way out here, the, the rowdiest trip yet. I guess it's near the end of the trip and we started moshing on the bus and we were playing hacky sack with full cans of beer and just getting rowdy. Yeah. Picked up the tunes. It was good times. Yeah, that was, that was definitely one of the rowdiest bus rides we've had. Like, hacky sack with a full kokanee and everyone just mosh pitting, banging off each other, falling down on yeah, the buses, people. just going down the highway. Beep, beep. I want to live on this bus. I don't want to leave. There's no going back to, to normal life. It's all about the auto bus. I'm, I'm united with this thing now. Like, we rented a hotel room one night, and no one stayed in the hotel <laughs> yeah. room. Everyone stayed on the bus, because it's just that good. My name is Thor Wixom. I'm a mountain bike filmmaker. Right now I'm working on Jib 2, subtitled Sessions. Look at his truck. Unbelievable, like, wicked truck. Oh. And he's shredded in that thing, and the thing's huge. Big old Suburban, the coolest truck ever. They got, like, the mad graffiti riding down the side. I love his vehicle, his big bourbon. Oh, it's 500 horsepower, just 34. Inch tires? 34. 37. 37. 37? Yeah, that thing is so amazing. Oh, dude, Look at that skull. <laughs> 60 in residential areas. Nice. <laughs> oh, wait. All the speed limits are in kilometers. Oh. Favorite part? What's that? Oh, when they nail it. <laughs> the street ride was really good. Me and uh, Tyler and Steve found this cool kind of somewhat of a step up to wall ride. So you you crank at it, hit this wall ride, land on the flat, and ride and hit this other <laughs> wall ride. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe it. And Jared doesn't. Man, they're me. all talk. It was such a rad setup. You don't see it every day. Uh, Tyler was hitting it, uh, going down the street, just cranking, slapping the wall, and aired up onto the flat, and bang, hits the the top with the second wall ride, and then bam, down below, he gets on the ledge, and bang, he, he, he airs off the ledge onto the flat, and it was just sweet, nice uh, tweaker. It was marvelous. <laughs> marvelous. <laughs> We need some inspiration. We need some perspiration. Bleed women and beer. We need... what? <laughs> <laughs> what we do here, this isn't going to go away. You'll probably see intramural sports it's like this. It's not beer. accepted right now. So goodbye, good night. All right. Extreme sports is here to stay, whether it's skateboarding, BMX, or mountain bikes. We're not going away. Why not just work with us? Guys like him and city planners and architects should start planning for people like us to come and ride in those areas. They should put metal edges so we can go out there and do what we do and you know put up signs that say ride at your own risk. I mean that's really all they'd have to do and then they wouldn't have to spend the extra 
hundreds of thousands of dollars a year to pay somebody to come out there and kick us off every day. Can we do a few shots here? If it was up to me, I would say sure, but I'm doing my job and appreciate that you come and ask me to go okay. somewhere else. Okay? Don't play. You're all riding, you're having a good time, right? Yeah. Like, you're just, you're feeling the flow, feeling the energy, like, it's building up, you're getting better, you're closer to dialing a trick, and then a security guard comes, and she's like, you. oh, the energy's gone. You, you gotta be so stealth and get yeah. a first try. Every place we went, we got kicked out. They're buzz harshers. Panorama, and I went for that really great, just smooth, buttery, flat fall. And Calgary, I really felt the side effects of that. Not being able to walk, ride for a couple days, couldn't really hold my hand around my bar until I got better. And then I decided to do a 28 stair feeble kink, and I fell again, and I got all sore again, and the circle continued. That was wicked. <laughs> I was trying to ride it out my butt, so I'd slide all the way down. <laughs> that one was it. I twisted. <sighs> Gotta do it. How's my hand? My ankle. Kind of rolled both my ankles on the way down. But it's all good, because I'm doing this tomorrow. How do you feel? I feel great. I dare you to drink that lemon water. Did you put your fingers in there? Yeah, I did. A couple times. They were pretty clean though. Look at it. There's not yeah, too much. as filthy as the Make other. sure the seed goes down too. <laughs> yeah, Jared. Lemon? It's good for you. I came to Calgary because one of the big reasons is Millennium Park. Another big reason is uh, Doug Fink. Uh, he totally rules that place. He even gets respect from the skaters and the BMXers that think that we're encroaching on their territory. Doug Fink you don't want to mess around with. He's like a gnarly black belt dude. When he does his no footy can cans, it looks like he's kicking someone in the teeth. <laughs> hey, it's Doug Fink! Hey, hi, back. I'm at home finally. Yeah, where have you been? Well, uh, I was all around BC seeing if uh, my body could uh, sustain maximum temperature overload for X number of days. And I managed to survive the plus 40 riding. Doug Fink shredding as usual, doing a 360x ups out of the bowl, wicked manual lines, huge hip lines. Pretty much every street rider in there was shredding. The street talent there is just amazing. I've never seen anything like it. All the locals shredding it up in Millennium Park. It was, yeah. it was great to see. It was just cool just to sit back and watch and see everyone get ahead. I'm a safety guy at work. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> so what are you doing here? I'm just, you know, watching out for these guys, you know, just to make sure they're playing safe.
some pikers allowed, so uh, if we do get in, get in their way, they're allowed to uh, punch us out. Who said that? Doug. Really? Okay. In this area here? Yeah. There's a, there's a bit of conflict, you can say, in between the sports. I guess skateboarders and bikers. It's more of skate park etiquette, if anything. Not really just what you're riding. You see certain guys just poaching the lines all the time. And uh, you can't do that. Not giving the skaters a turn. I've, I've seen that. I've seen some bikers do that way too many times. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what gets them all riled up and angry and affects all of us. Completely outnumbered, so they're not saying much. But uh, if we try to go over in their bowls over there, we might get might get mugged. <laughs> Bunch of the skaters there were getting pretty choked because there was like 40 mountain bikers to three skaters. The cops came, made friends with the cops. It's good. It's all good. I got one place to go and I'll see. This is it. And I have to share it. No, that's not fair. You guys ruin your day by getting all aggro. Like, no, you guys ruin my day. That's what I mean. But like, you're here and I'm not getting aggro. I don't care. I'm not telling you that you should leave. You're telling me I should leave. Yeah, I am. It's not working. It's a problem because a 15 year old shouldn't ride that good or be this big. <laughs> I don't know what they put in the water. I need some though. My name's Justin, I'm a ski lift mechanic, I live in Golden, BC. This trailer we've stumbled upon, you know if it has a name? I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> No bicycles. Well, it was already ripped down, so it must be okay now. Yeah. Legal now. Let's ride. Really cool stuff down there. We've seen a lot of cool log gaps, uh, about a 15 foot drop to a pretty cool tranny, and uh, lots of kind of flowy dirt jumps over the ridges. So it was cool to see a mountain bike trail in Calgary. I guess there's very few out there, and uh, that was one of the main ones that we happened to stumble across. Supposedly it's getting torn down, which is a crying shame because it's one of the most beautiful things. Yeah, it was definitely a lot of nuggets on that trail, a lot of cool, cool moves there, and uh, trannies.com was in the house. Trannies.com, take note, help us save our limbs. Build trannies, please. Please do not bike hit out there, kids. Just find the tranny yeah. and make your bike hit it. We'll all respect you for it. Yeah. You can go huge. Just put a nice tranny. Super drained, body super beat, uh, really bummed out, uh, mentally erratical. It's going to be different for myself just watching these guys shred it up and not being able to ride, but. I'll be cheering them on and telling them telling them to do our crazy stuff, so look out.
catch him and take it. I was coming down behind him. I could even see the jump. <laughs> I just went off something. Out of oh control. no, you didn't even see that. No. Whoa. Just when things are looking up, I'm plowed to the ground again. Just, just when things are looking up, I'm plowed to the ground again. Just open up the wind dies down so we can have a good jump sesh because uh, when the wind's up normally the jumpers stay down. We're keeping it sketchy. How do they feel? Oh well, they feel alright. They're a little crusty. This is a pretty cool rhythm set. I guess John Cowan built it, had a wicked drop and wrap and had a had a rad sesh with a bunch of locals up there. Super fun. It was good, really good. We had the sunshine on our side today for sure, so that's definitely always a good start. Body's feeling pretty fresh, just had a day off, so that's another good thing. Whole new territory, lots of new places to discover, and that's always a good thing, and that all kind of equals a good day. Nice. <laughs> that was sweet, Ryan. Well, uh, do you guys have authorization to be filming on ground here today? Are you guys uh, filming for something in particular here? Yeah, drop in. Oh, so, yeah. uh, about the best suggest I can say, guys, is uh, just don't be on grounds today. Are you used to security and that's why you do everything first try? Yeah, we try to be pretty consistent, you know? You, uh, you learn these things after doing it for eight years. <laughs> it's, it's all good. Drop-in is so essential for the growth of the mountain bike industry. Nothing else is really hitting the same number of people that drop-in is. It's like it goes to so many different people. Not not the the mountain bike industry already, like mountain bike videos do, but this is to everyday households, everyday people that really aren't into mountain biking yet that actually it could help them get into it if they watch the show. So that's uh, definitely a good thing. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> or you can do, oh, I'm not even touching this. <laughs> Straight off the drop in bus. That's what, you, that's what you gotta expect. Nothing more, nothing less. It's all good. Dude, that thing's like higher than like me. It's so perfect when crews are dropping on a Jason man. What Mr. Leach is about to attempt is a side hop onto a ledge. A big side up, 270 to sprocket. Oh. Yeah. I can I can't even 180. Why not these two?
worst thing when the chain skips. That sucks. I got a little Chester. It felt really good. I was doubting myself. To pull it off is the best thing ever. That's why you ride a bike. So good. It seems like everyone on the bus is still really, really buzzed. They're really excited and they don't want to go home. I mean, this tour is coming to an end pretty quick and, you know, they're still raring to go. They could live on that thing year round, no problem, I'm sure. We got a ton of good lines today, I think. I'm really happy with how everything went and uh, we're sitting on the patio here at a restaurant, gonna eat some food and all is good. Calgary was good, sunshine was good. See you next year.